Hello and welcome to the All Flyers. Trainee pilots learn that stalling an aircraft is bad news. A stall is when the angle of attack of the wing increases beyond the point where air flows smoothly over the surface and separates, causing loss of lift and an increase of drag. This critical angle of attack is about 15 degrees. With no lift, the aircraft will go down and hopefully there will be enough altitude to recover. If a stall warning horn is installed, there will be an alarm warning of the imminent stall. Stalled. Stalled. The remedy is to immediately lower the nose and apply power. Incorrect actions near the stall may well result in the aircraft entering a spin. Not good. It is not uncommon for the horn to sound when an aircraft is flaring to land. When on descent to land, a pilot must maintain flying speed and control. With reduced power and a slowing speed, the nose is raised to maintain lift. This is the art of flying a plane with a safe margin above its stalling speed. Each aircraft type has a published stall speed at maximum takeoff weight. These stall speeds vary enormously. Remember that a stall is measured by speed, but not determined by speed. It is the angle of attack of the wing. There is a skill in landing an aircraft at close to stall speed. Short takeoff and landing aircraft, known as stall, typically allow for very slow approaches, especially when flying into a strong headwind. In the right conditions, the aircraft can still fly although it may be traveling backwards over the ground. Stoll competitions are held to see who can land in the shortest distance. I wondered which were the aircraft with the slowest stall speeds. The list might surprise you. Here are just a few aircraft whose stall speeds are quite slow. Leave a comment if you can name some that I may have missed. For those familiar with knots and miles per hour, 10 kilometers per hour is 5.4 knots or about 6.2 miles per hour. The human powered McCready Gossamer Condor stalls at a remarkable 13 kilometers per hour. It is super light and has a large lifting surface. With the human providing power to stay aloft, you can imagine that it had to be so. The Voigt XF-50 stalls at 32 km per hour. In the 1930s, the American designer Charles Zimmerman became interested in the concept of a discoid aircraft. The result of this fascination was the Voigt V-173 aircraft, which was nicknamed the Flying Pancake. The development of the Voigt XF-5U model began in 1943 it was five times larger than the prototype and equipped with two Pratt & Whitney power plants of 2,700 horsepower. This was enough to accelerate to 765 kilometers per hour in flight. This aircraft could maintain level flight at a speed of 32 kilometers per hour. In the early spring of 1947, the US Navy closed the project because the aircraft could not compete with the new Phantom jets. The Rupert Archaeopteryx stall speed is 39 km per hour, said to be the lightest sailplane in the world, weighing just 61 kilos. The undercarriage consists of your legs. This is as close to putting on a flying suit as you can get. A lot more comfortable to fly than a paraglider or powered parachute. The Tapani Pegasus Air 100 stall speed is 45 km per hour. This two-seater stall home-built aircraft 
has features such as leading edge slats that employ automatically and full length flaperons. The tailplane is slotted for slow speed authority. Another Stoll aircraft is the Zenith Stoll CH701. which has a stall speed of 48 km per hour. Likewise, the ICP Savannah is also 48 km per hour. Most variants of the Savannah and the Zenith have a constant cord wing with flaps and ailerons combined into Junkers style flaperons. Early variants retain full span leading edge slots, later replaced with Vortex generators. Vortex generators are an aerodynamic device usually attached to an aerofoil to create a vortex, delaying local separation of a slow moving boundary layer. The Slepsich Storch is a three quarter replica of the famous Feisler Storch and has a stall speed of 50 km per hour. This kit aircraft first flew in 1994, originally manufactured in Australia. The designer has a keen interest in Second World War history and wanted to use an example of his Storch design to reenact the 12th of September 1943 rescue of Benito Mussolini from his imprisonment on the Grand Sasso mountain. It took him a year to obtain Italian approvals for the flight and in 1996 he landed a Storch Mark IV at the site 53 years after the original dramatic rescue had taken place. The slowest jet powered aircraft is the PZL M15 Belfigor with a stall speed of 108 km per hour. Whereas at the other end of the scale is the Space Shuttle. Its stall speed at minimum weight is 386 km per hour. At maximum load that would be an impossible 4917 km per hour. This aircraft would never return to Earth without leaving its cargo in space. Curiously, the Antonov AN-2 had no published stall speed. At low speeds, its elevator cannot generate enough downforce to exceed the stalling angle of attack. In practice, it could maintain approximately 56 km per hour without descending. That is remarkable for such a big aircraft. Thank you for watching. Hitting the like and subscribe button would be appreciated.